Hello and welcome to the Foundry's Furnace Core tutorial for Match Grid. Match Grid matches the colours of one clip to those of another. It is often necessary to match the colours of one clip with those of another. When filming outside at different times of the day, you will inevitably get a colour and luminous differences that will have to be corrected if the sequences are to be composited or edited together. Match grid is best used on two clips of the same scene show at different times of the day, or when the actual scene lighting has been changed or altered. You can of course use the colour correction tools, but this tends to be actually time consuming and requires some considerable skill to get the colour levels correctly. The match grid knows does this all for you automatically by modifying the colour histogram of one image to match a reference image. Before you start the tutorial, you should download the relevant scripts and image sequences from the Foundry website. Once you have done this, please open the Match Grade Start Here script and we can begin. When you open the Start Here script, you should find three image plates. The first two are image sequences and the third is a single JPEG image. If you look at the first image sequence, you can see these are the indoor breakdancing shot. And if we look at the actual second image, you'll see it of the same scene, however this was shot on a different day where the lighting setup was inadvertently changed. These shots will have to be composited together, however they'll have to be colour corrected before the process can be completed. If we look at the first shot, this is the desired colour that the actual director wanted, and the second shot was all washed out. What we have to do now is actually colour correct the actual sequence to match up with the initial first sequence. To do this, we just press stop on the timeline. So I'm going to go back to frame one, and I'm actually bringing up the match grade node. I'm going to do this by using the actual tab function on the keyboard and tapping in what I require. You can bring up the match grade node whichever way you feel most comfortable. When you bring up the node, you'll see it has three inputs. The first input is the apply to input. The second input is the target input, and the third and final input is the color input. Now, to rig the node, you actually need two stills for the node to reference. The first still will need to be a single image from the sequence you wish to adjust, which is this one over here. Now, you need to connect this to the actual color input. So, look at the color to a single image of the image sequence you wish to adjust. The second image will need to be a single image with the colour you wish to copy, which is over here. Now we need to connect this to the target input. So we'll connect the target to a single image of the colour we wish to copy. The match grid node will now try to match the histogram of the colour input to the histogram of the target input. third and final input is the apply to input. Now you need to connect this to the full sequence of images to this input. Now these should be the same as the single image you connected to the color input. So I'll connect this all the way to the sequence that needs to be color corrected. Now MatchCray will try and apply a uniform color correction to the whole sequence and match the histograms. If you don't have a color input, then match grade will try and match the color of the target input directly to the apply sequence input. Now it is more accurate to have a color input just to have a stable representation of the histograms to compare to. So if we just look through the image sequence now, connect to the match grade. Now let's go up with this. We can actually view the exact image. If you do a compare of the image that we have now, which has been color corrected to the original sequence just by loading in the one and two color channels. You can see this was the original image, and after applying the match grade to it, we have actually color corrected to match the original sequence that we shot. Let's just load this into view three. As you can see, it's done quite a good job of matching up all the colors and hues, compared to the original, which was completely washed out. 
So now we've actually used a match grade node on this shot. Let's get a render of this and actually view the entire sequence in motion. If we play through the render now, you can see that just by applying a simple match grid to the image sequence, we have quickly and effectively color corrected the entire sequence to match the target sequence. If we do a compare now of a before and after, you can see how on the left over here we have the original washed out sequence, and on the right you can actually see the match grade color corrected sequence and the difference between the two. If we have a look now at the actual sequence which to copy the color from. So here on the left we have the actual target color, the original sequence which the director was happy with. And on the right hand side now we have the color corrected actual match grade render. You can see that the match grade node has done quite a good job at matching the histograms and actually matching all the color levels. However there is a slight difference between the two. And we can improve this using the match grade node in the actual iterations tab. So let's have a go at improving the results of this. So let's go back into Nuke. Now we can improve the actual results of the match grid node by simply increasing or decreasing the iterations tab. Now the iteration parameter will increase or decrease the number of refinement passes the node will complete. The higher the number and the longer the render time, so it's computationally expensive. Now this parameter will increase the accuracy of the color correction and the histogram match. So let's increase this to say 10. There we go. As you can see, it sampled the actual target color sequences and tried to apply that to the overall sequence image being color corrected. As you can see, it's just changed the actual blacks a little bit and the reds just ever so slightly. So let's get a render of this and actually view the difference between the two. So go ahead and produce a render. If we play through the render now, you can see that we have a much more accurate color correction from the match grid node. And the sequence is looking more and more in the same color regions as the actual target color section. Now if we do a compare of this, on the left hand side we have the original sequence which the director is happy with. And on the right hand side we have the actual color corrected sequence from the actual match grid node. As you can see they match up quite well how very quickly and easily we have actually color corrected the sequence. To complete the shot, you have to use the grade node and match the actual hues and blacks and shadows of this accurately. Now, just by using the actual match grade node, we have actually helped save a lot of time and actually made the job a little bit easier for us, as all we have to do is just slightly tweak some of the levels to get a perfect match.